Welcome back to Let's Play Neverwinter Nights 2 Mask of the Betrayer. This is Big Los. And we're in the Veil vale Theater. We had just rested up and put the bus back on. We're going to go into this portal to go back to the Shadow Plane. So we can go towards the stage area, or what would be the equivalent of the stage area on this plane. We didn't do it previously because we had a lot of damage and we used up all our spells, but now that we were able to rest and recover and put all the bus back on, we're going to go in here and see what's over here. Sophia, what are you doing here? I thought I smelled incompetence. You two know each other? This is Kai Kamun, one of the most worthless piles of sputum to wear the red robes of Thay. A former love interest of yours? How could you? I was foolish enough to give Kai the impression that I tolerated him, but wise enough to reject his relentless advances. Kai is but a half-wit. He also happens to be a junior instructor at my academy. I can only wonder why he strayed so far from his mentor's leash. All that's changing. Aramon rewards his allies well. With Lyanna dead, I've earned a promotion. It's a shame the old hag didn't put up much of a fight. She destroyed herself in a blaze of fire. Must have known she couldn't best me. I needed to talk to Lyanna. You made a fatal mistake, Kai. You. Aramon warned me of you. Sophia, why would you travel with this thing? You claim to know me, wizard? I want no trouble from you. Stand aside. My quarrel is with Sophia. I doubt she'll put up nearly as much of a fight as Lyanna. Or her mother. My mother? Kai Kamun, you had best be mocking me. If you raise your hand against my mother, I will extract a thousand screams from your wretched hide. She had no idea it was coming. She used every last cantrip she knew, but her loyal allies, her daughter even, never arrived to save her. Let's let Sophia speak. And to think that you once claimed to care for me. Lyanna was wise to destroy herself rather than fight me. I doubt you have the old hag sense to surrender to make this quick. No matter. Let's settle this. Okay, so I put on an additional buff. I put on protection from spells to see if that gives the captain a boost. And it looks like we didn't lose any influence by saying that... Of course. Or asking that he was a former love interest. Yes. So there's really no downside to asking that. But let's see. I guess we could do burning hands for... Kaji, let's have him do it on this red wizard. To your weapons, and don't let up. And we'll have the captain come down yeah. to here, and then uh, see if we can get all the attacks he can. Oh, actually killed him without being dazed for once. Yeah. I guess the protection from spells does work. Yeah. Oh, and there goes another one. And it looks like Sophia summoned a Mordenkainen sword, so that's what that one Arrhenius is fighting. We'll take out this other one. Looks like it won't go down as easily as the Red Wizard. But it will go down. Oh, and she has Bigby's clenched fist on it. I've always assumed Kai's in vision would get him killed, but I didn't think it would be by my hand. No matter, he will not be missed. Kai mentioned your mother's death. I'm sorry for your loss. Influence gain. I can only hope that Kai was lying to unsettle me. I should not have given him the pleasure of getting so angry. Still, if he was telling the truth, I... I should have never left the academy when I did. My mother, Nephris, she has the respect of the other wizards, but not their love. Don't worry, mistress. You still have me. I'm family. 
Sort of. I'm running out of trustworthy people in my life. Just Kaji and Master Jaffe at the Academy. If he still lives. Your mother's name is Nephris? I'd like to hear more about her, if you're willing to tell me. Nephris, my mother. She is difficult to love, I suppose. Driven, stubborn, but wise in her way. She has no patience for ambitious wizards like Kai Kamun. Her studies are everything to her. Master Joffe insists that she looked much like me in her youth. Though I suspect he may be seeing what he wished to see, I believe he had feelings for my mother when they were both young. Indeed, poor Joffe may be dead as well. If he stood by my mother, I wish I knew their fates. Well, looks like we got a bunch of options that we could do. At least five of them. Maybe we should do the second one. If you need to return home, I'll understand. But your company would be missed. Influence gain. Thank you, but I promised my mother I'd look after you. If those were her, her last orders, well, I'd like to honor them. Had the situation been reversed, had someone harmed me, her wrath would have been merciless. I will grieve for my mother by finding Armand and crushing him. I'm still curious why someone wanted Leanna dead. Her association with my mother must have been very important. Why else would Aramon send his pawns all the way to Rashomon? Leanna was more than some common theater matron. At least Kai is dead, and Leanna's death avenged. I appreciate your help in killing that wretch. Well, I should be thanking you. I would not have fared well without your help. Seriously. Influence gain. I'm glad I could be of service to you. My entire youth was spent studying my craft. It's about time I put my knowledge to use. But we couldn't prevent her death, and there's no use dwelling on it. Okay, what do you know of Aramon? Aramon is a common enough name in Thay, but there is an Aramon at the Academy of Shapers and Binders. He's a senior instructor, quiet, soft-spoken, and shockingly adept at magic. I've met him, but we rarely traded words. He stays hidden in the library most of the time. So, the Aramon at your academy, you think he led the coup against your mother? Hmm. A reclusive yet polite old man who kept to himself at an academy full of aggressive, ruthless magicians. Yes, he sounds guilty enough. Had he been vocal about his hatred for my mother, she'd have anticipated it and stopped him long ago. Okay. This Armon can't be so clever if he trusted Kai. Yes, well, Kai couldn't be trusted to serve anyone but himself. No doubt Kai was a sacrificial pawn, bought with the promise of coin or a meaningless title. Actually, turning someone like Kai against my mother was quite clever. A thug, li thug that is all ambition and no talent can be easily manipulated and rarely lives to collect payment. Do all the instructors at your academy try to kill each other? Our academy is better than most in Thay, but Red Wizards are infamous for their tendency to kill their own, even if just for scraps of authority or to settle a petty grudge. I suppose I have become so desensitized to it, let the power of mad kill each other, I've always thought, but I should have known it would claim my mother, or even me. Why would someone want to kill your mother? As the headmistress of the academy, her death creates a void of leadership. The Red Wizards are the true power of Thay. Running an academy makes one a creature of great authority. Okay, I think I've heard enough about Aramon. Yes, and I tire of talking about him. If he truly is to blame for my mother's death, then I will see him again. Doesn't sound like you and Kai were very fond of each other. No, not at all. At one point he was kind to me, but it was all a ruse. He just wanted the attentions of the headmistress's daughter. 
He embodied the common man's idea of a red wizard, unscrupulous and loyal only to his own ambitions. We should probably keep moving. Agreed. With Leanna dead, perhaps our best course of action is to speak to the dwarf woman and the other actors. There is a chance Leanna confided in one of them. Alright, so I guess that's our next thing to go do, is to go talk to Magda. So let's get all these treasures that are lying about. What's this? Belt of Raumathar. We got some more red wizard robes. What does this thing do? Okay, it was uncovered in the ring of the gray flames. Gives you bonus feet, spell focus evocation, spell penetration. You can do greater fire burst once per day, magic missile three times, prismatic spray, and sunburst once per day. Well, that actually sounds like a pretty good yes. item for Sophia. She'll be able to I think utilize more me spells. For a horse and wagon. Uh, unfortunately, it makes her less capable to carry these things that she has. So maybe we'll put those into the captain's inventory, these robes. I believe so. Yes. And then let's assign a quick key slot to the belt so when we need to we can just pull it up and use it well now and then if we really want? really have to then we can just put the strength belt back on and oh what do we have here a potion of owl's wisdom and cure critical wounds and a plus three quarter staff and a po two potions of lore. Well, we're not going to need those. I guess we'll just hang on to them. Our lore skill is so high that we don't even need those potions. Okay, let's put everything that we're not going to be using into the greater magic bag for right now. That would include all these weapons that we picked up from the previous battles. These hand axes from the gnolls, these bows. Let's see. It only does light, so that's really useless. We're going to be selling that. This one does a couple of useful spells. But, mm, I guess we'll just put it into the bag for now. Okay, the Greater Robe of Eyes gives you search plus 10, spot plus 10, and enables you to have true seeing. So, that's not any better than what Sophia's wearing, so we'll just put it into the bag and we probably are going to sell it. Although we could presumably add some enchantments to it to buff it up, but I think you can only add one more enchantment to it since it has three. And once you're epic level, you can add a fourth enchantment to a magic item. Alright. That should about do it. Is there anything else over here? Okay, here is a door to go to the outside. A specific key is required. That means we can't go to the outside shadow plane. At least not yet. So why don't we talk to Sophia? If there's something I can do for you, just ask. Oh man, I thought you were supposed to give me what something. What would you like to know? Oh, uh, I guess that's about it. Yeah, I thought once you get over 50 points of influence with a character, you get something special. Maybe I'll talk to her later and see if you get something. Yeah, I don't think we got that feat that we're supposed to get. Hmm. No, I don't see it. Alright, I guess we'll talk to her later and get that special bonus that she gives you for getting 50 points of influence with her. So let's go back to the Prime Material Plane.
and we'll go through this door, and then we will go out to the stage. No, there's nothing here. Yeah, we'll go out to the stage, and then we'll exit, and then we'll try to find the dwarf woman, Magda. And looks like we're getting a cutscene. Keep your distance, witches. I've studied your laws, and we've broken none. You know our laws. But I know you, child. Even if these others do not. You will be better served by keeping silent. Look, Shiva. The girl's companion. It's that one who offends the land and draws an army to our gate. Speak your name, foreigner. And be warned that you address the Wick Lauren. Huh. <laughs> the Wick Lauren? What is that? Is this the tradition in your homeland, Barbarian? To trade questions for questions? No, but that seems to be the tradition here. Peace, Kazumika. The foreigner knows not our customs. Our words and names are strange. We are witches. Ambassadors to the hidden realm of spirits. And keepers of the sacred law. We bow our heads to the Triune Goddess, and to no one else. I am Captain Savaho, and I came to your city to find a woman called Liana. Unfortunately, it seems that I came too late. Then Magda spoke true? She said they were Thayans, that they appeared from the very shadows. Calm, Katya. You are a witch now, not a farm girl. You crossed spells with our mortal enemies, foreigner, and drove them from our midst. For that, much may be forgiven. Forgiven? I've committed no crime. But the Bear God has marched an army of spirits to our gate, and he roars for your blood. He claims that you have defiled his sacred den and loosed an evil upon the world. And the Bear God does not lie. I can smell the wrongness on you, foreigner. It hangs upon you like a corpse shroud. Yeah, that would be the West Harbor stench. The dwarf woman Magda may know more about Liana. I must speak with her. How do we know that you wouldn't have slain Liana yourself? How do we know you won't do the same to Magda? Make your peace with the bear god, foreigner, and we will know you for a friend. And Magda? I need to talk to her, you know. We'll be kept safe from the Bear God's horde and from you if need be. No witch may stand against the spirits of the land. But I will honor the debt we owe you, foreigner, for defeating the Red Wizards. Go to our prison on the north edge of town. Any convict who is willing to stand at your side will be granted a full pardon. Ha! <laughs> That's a fine offer, witch. So they're allowing us to get another companion from the prison if we accept to help us out. That's all the help that we're gonna get. It's a kinder offer than you know, and more than is just by any sane account. You know not what dreams may lie behind steel and rune, foreigner. But discard my offer if you like. We will watch from our high place, and we will receive you again. If you return alive. Great. So now we gotta worry about Oku again, and this time he's brought an army with him. Huh, who do we have here? Ephraim the Stag. We couldn't help but over here. An army of angry spirits awaits you at the gates of Molsantir. You will perhaps require more help against such a host. Yeah, I'll say. My bow and my brother's sword will aid you, should you agree to first help us find our lost sister, Kaelin the Dove. This is Souza the Crow. Okay. Where can I find your sister? Kaelin came here seeking the abandoned stronghold of Merkel, the Death God's Vault, which is in Shadow Molsentir. Um, Shadow Molsentir? Yes, it is said that Molsentir has thin boundaries between the Prime and the Plain of Shadow, especially at night, or in dark places. Ah, uh, we'll keep that in mind. Yes, if the rumors are true, 
There are many weak spots where one can cross to the Plain of Shadow at night. Perhaps a thorough search of the city would reveal some of these to you. Well, that sounds like a good idea. We asked the witches when we first arrived, and they claimed that Shadow Molsentir was just a myth. But I know they are hiding something. Maybe if you spoke to them instead. Huh. They are hiding something. Tell me of Merkel. As you may know, Merkel is the former god of the dead, slain by Mistra in the time of troubles. Siric took Merkel's place, and then was deposed by Kelimvor, the present god of the dead. We are followers of Kelimvor, as was Kaelin until she abandoned her faith. Why did Kaelin abandon her faith? That is an excellent question. I have a theory. Sister, let us not entertain any theories. The only one who could answer your question in truth is Kaelin herself. Find her and ask her yourself. Hmph. Okay, what is the Death God's Vault? The Death God's Vault has been abandoned since Merkel's death. It was used as a library and a prison, and a secure place to store things valuable to the Merkelite faith. So your sister went there to loot Merkel's treasures? Certainly not. We know little of Kaylin's reasons for going there, but she is no burglar or treasure hunter. I believe she may have gone there to learn more about Akachi's crusade. Sister, do not speak of the betrayer. For Kaylin's sake, I hope she is there for some other reason. Okay, so why don't you go find her yourselves? Entering Merkel's sanctum would be a violation of our faith to Kelimvor. Isn't Kaylin violating her faith by going there? Kaylin has abandoned her faith in Kelimvor. For this, she was exiled from our grandfather's court. She now follows Ilmater, the god of martyrs. Kinda sounds like martyr, Ilmater. We hope to find our sister and convince her not to become a martyr herself. Alright, let's help them out. Very well, I'll seek out Kaylin for you. Thank you. We'll be very grateful to once more lay eyes upon our beloved sister. Go with care. The Death God's Vault may still contain some of Merkel's old defenses. Kalimvor's blessing be with you. Well, if he was God of the Dead, I'm guessing some of his defenses would probably be undead guardians. Okay, so now we have another lead where to find a party member to help us out. We've gotta go find Kalen the Dove. Now, do this brother and sister pair have anything on them that we could steal? Nope, they don't. So before we go on over to the prison, let's search the town since it's in the middle of the day and see if we can find stuff that we can loot. Here's a barrel here. Got nearly 1,200 gold pieces out of it. Looks like it's some type of stable. Oh, looks like here's another barrel that we missed. Let's go over here and loot this one. Oh, and we get four scrolls. I think that... Oh no, she doesn't. Sophia doesn't know mass any of these, she just knows the base ones. So let's put these into Sophia's inventory way. and then she'll scribe them. All scrolls will go to her first. And if she has them already, then we'll give them to the captain to see if he can cast them. I believe so. It'll just give the captain a couple more options and looks like here's another barrel. What have we got in here? Ah, uh, nearly 2,000 gold pieces. Not bad. We might be able to afford some of these expensive things that they're selling in, in town. Jeez, inflation sure is out of control here. I mean, in Neverwinter, things were a lot cheaper than they are here.
Alright, what if we go this way? Oh, looks like there's a couple things in the back here, behind the veil. Here's another stable with a barrel in it. Oh, and we got a couple traps and nearly 1,500 gold pieces. And then here's a dirt mound over here. And we get nearly 900 gold pieces buried there. Wow, just people just burying money left and right. If they have so much gold, why does everything look so run down and poor? Must be the inflation. Must be everybody is just flush with gold pieces and that just devalues it. Alright, so... Now before we go through... Oh, am I going the wrong way? Okay. I think we were going the wrong way. Yeah, that leads out of the city. And as was mentioned numerous times before, there's an army of spirits waiting for us to go out there and deal with them. But before we do that, we need to pick up some more party members to assist us. So, these gates were closed before, so let's go through them. And now we got a whole other section of the city that we can explore. Most of the doors are locked, however. Okay, so the prison's on the north edge of town. There's a temple to Kelimvor, right here. We won't be able to go into these houses until after we deal with the Army of the Spirits. And like the Berserker said, there's the gallows where the prison would be located, and by the gallows are two barrels. We get nearly 1,700 gold, and then we get a scroll of restoration, a healer's kit, plus 10, and two potions of heal. And yes, the captain can cast this, but Sophia cannot, so we're just going to hold on to it. And in that graveyard are a couple of mounds that you can dig up, but we're not going to disturb them yet. We're going to do that later in the game. Alright, so who are we going to meet in this prison? Find out next time. This is Big Los, signing off. See you in the next episode. Thanks for watching, and Tango Un Buen Dia.